Hello. Today I'm gonna be talking about wiring techniques in surgery. Wire technique is a very simple and basic technique. The instrument is only a wire, which is available all over the world. Its cost is very low. Although wire technique is thought to be a basic technique, the tensioning technique is manual and depends on each surgeon's skill. Appropriate wiring can fix complicated fractures, but inappropriate wiring will result in failure such as loosening or wire break during or after surgeries. In many cases, these wire failures result from the surgeon's skill. These complications can be avoided by learning basic technique of wire tensioning. After you watch this video, you can perform efficient wire tensioning and understand why wire failures happen and how to avoid them. This is my introduction. Please check it later. And if you like this video, please give thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, I will show you a good example of wire tensioning. In a demonstration, I'm using 0.71mm wire because it's easy to handle and apply tension. First, put the wire around the target roughly. Pull the wire. The direction of pull is very important. Here, the same tension is applied on each wire end. While pulling into that direction, twist the wire very carefully. Continue to repeat the same process of pull and twist. Each twisting winds up both wires equally. Bending the wire will be helpful to hold and twist the wire tip. And uniform tension is applied on the target. The shape of the wire is completely symmetrical, suggesting that the tension from wire twisting is efficiently applied around the target. After tension is applied on the target, the wires are cut. And hold the tip of the wire and wind it down towards the same direction of twisting to avoid loosening. Okay, that's it. It looks so simple. Then, what is the bad wiring technique? I'll show a bad example. First, the wire is being pulled into the wrong direction. Tension of the wire is different between the two ends. This asymmetricity causes one wire to wind up another wire. This relationship is similar to that of a fork and pasta. The black wire is a fork, and the gray one is pasta. The black wire winds up the gray wire. Asymmetrical twist winds up only one wire. And that results in stress concentration at the root of the circle. That causes a wire break. 
You can notice that the wire breaks at the root of the circle edge. There is another pattern of a wire break. As in the previous example, wire is twisted up with pulling in a wrong direction. Asymmetrical twist causes stress concentration. Further twisting can't apply tension in the circlage part of the wire because twisting force stops at the root of the circlage. Instead, the twisting force causes double twist, meaning that the twists of the wire are twisted again. This causes a stress concentration on the middle of the wire. And results in wire break at the same point. Now, how you can avoid these problems? I will show you how to correct the asymmetrical twisting. First, you need to notice the asymmetrical twisting in the early phase. You can see one wire starts to wind another wire. When you notice this imbalance, pull the wire toward the opposite direction. And twist the wire carefully while pulling in that way. You can correct the twisting direction. And uniform tension will be applied on the target. You can see that the imbalance twisting has been corrected from the shape of the wire. If you are not sure in which direction to pull the wire, remember the relationship between a fork and pastor. That relationship would cause asymmetrical twisting, so you should pull the wire toward the opposite direction. Okay, that's all for this lecture. In this lecture, you learned a good example of symmetrical tensioning. Direction of pull is the key point to make a symmetrical twist. You also learned how to correct the asymmetrical twist. To notice the imbalance earlier is also very important. This channel will introduce basic and advanced techniques of surgery, useful skills of your daily work. If you like this video, please give thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.